Shalom and welcome to Tzibitz of Torah. This year is entitled, Can a Woman Say Kaddish in Shul for her father, for her mother? So, very often, a woman wants to say Kaddish in any case, but sometimes it's more than just that. The, there's no sons involved, and they have to look for other relatives. A woman says, here I am, I'm a descendant, a 50, 60, 70 years relationship with my father, I want to say Kaddish. And it's a big, big shy. It's not in the Shulchan Aruch and Shina involved, but it is in the poskim. The Pitchei Tshuva does bring down those that say that according to the technical law, she could, and it would be a Nachas Ruch, a nice thing, a nice commemoration for the deceased, but it could start breaking down and hug him, don't do it. Beit Lechem Yudha says there's no place whatsoever for a woman to say Kaddish at all. And if you look at Pnei Baruch and the, the, the typical uh, Avelut book, they can say, no, 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 they might mention there was some who make it, but everyone rejected such an approach and we don't do it. There's nothing to talk about. However, if you look at some of the others forum on the topic, you look at Chelek Beit and B'nai Banim, Rav Hankin, uh, Siman Zion, he has a long, long discussion on it. Rav Yaakov Ariel discusses it. It says, a woman that's come to Shem Shemaim, a woman who's careful about all halachot. She's not making an agenda out of this in any way, but she's really careful about all the different halachot, and she wants to do this too. It's not so woman, let's say a woman goes ahead, she's not going about this, A, B, C, D, and all of a sudden she brings a, a Torah to the Kaisel. She wants to go ahead and make a, why are you careful about the things that you have to do? And all of a sudden, this, you're going to make a big thing? No, a woman is careful to send her everything. And now she wants to go ahead and also say Kaddish. Uh, Ariel says there might be room in such a case. And the difference from and I, on Avelut, especially the ones like Rav Rimon and uh, Rav Riga on Avelut, but they quoted that to me postkim. And Me'alam uh, Adolam, also they quoted the different postkim. So they're more open to it at times. And they really say it's up to the Rav to assess the situation, where the people are coming from, where the women are coming from, and to see if it's going to go across tension. Because one thing the postkim all say, that if you're talking about nachas ruach, somehow benefiting the neshama, now that works exactly as a good question, but if that's what you're talking about, a meriva, if a woman saying Kaddish is going to cause a fight, so your whole goal is somehow to help out the deceased, and a fight among the people in memory of the deceased, that's the worst thing. So for sure, any fight has to be avoided, and the rav the kid has to decide and assess the situation, and then paskin and everyone has to follow up. Shalom.